Hi guys, uh, crypto has corrected uh, a lot um, since um, uh, the last month. Uh, uh, the current market cap is 190 billion now. So um, in the past few weeks it went down, uh, but Bitcoin is still at 6,000 and um, Bitcoin Cash is at 500. Uh, Byteball has correct a lot, it's at $50, that's already minus 95% from the top, um, but, but for Bitcoin it's only minus uh, 70, uh, and, uh, how much is that, um, I can't count, eh? yeah, minus 70%, um, but, but, for, but uh, the, the, the good news is that, that uh, we are at fair value, uh, uh, looking at the Trollo chart, and also many people ask me what's Trollolo and who's Trollolo. Uh, I just make sometimes videos about the chart and then you see that the thumbnail is a chart. It's not my pace, it's a chart. So if you want to see the Trollolo videos, just look at the thumbnails with charts uh, in all my videos and you will see them. The first was made in the middle of 2017. Um, uh, but um, uh, it's about four videos or so. Uh, they are very good. It's been a long time that I uh, made one now. Uh, so, but um, uh, so so currently, uh, but 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 I'm not hundred percent sure. I asked Trollolo, uh, but uh, the, the 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 I think uh, it's now about hundred eighty billion the trend line, and so we are at a fair value. Um, it's hard for me not to buy. Uh, for example, my favorite coin, Byteball, has dropped so, uh, a lot. It's now 30 million market cap. Uh, uh, it's, is that cheap? Um, no, I would not say yet cheap. But um, if you compare it to other projects, it's dropped from the 50th uh, spot to the 130th spot. Uh, and, and, and coins like Peercoin and even Namecoin are valued higher than Byteball or NXT. These are all dead projects to my knowledge. Eh? No developer is working on this anymore. Uh, these projects did not find any real traction anywhere. Uh, so, and are old projects uh, and, uh, and they are valued higher than Byteball. Uh, they are valued 40 million or so, eh? or 50 million and, and, and Byteball only 30 million. So, I think this is, compared to other crypto projects, Byteball is actually a great buy. Uh, but I also have to apologize because uh, I made good calls, uh, very good calls, uh, but I also made some bad calls, one of them being, ah, Byteball on sale now, uh, that I made somewhere in February or so, I don't know when exactly, but Byteball was valued a lot, a lot higher, but just started collapsing. Uh, because the, uh, the the distribution was stopped to existing uh, Byteball holders and a lot of people were angry with that so it was a, lot, uh, a serious dump and um, uh, but actually it was just a start uh, so I'm sorry for that and uh, that was the wrong call I should certainly not have said that Byteball was on sale considering the bear market that was coming um, there was nothing on sale uh, nothing has been on sale uh, uh, in, in crypto in uh, in December, January, February, nothing. Eh? Everything was is highly overpriced. We know that now, uh, but of course then that was much much harder to see. But um, uh, 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 what's on sale now? Uh, I I do think something like Bible is actually on sale already um, versus other crypto projects, but not versus fiat, eh? because. Um, uh, versus fiat, uh, 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 the market is let. Well, Bitcoin is the best reference to judge wh whether uh, things are cheap in crypto world. And I think Bitcoin at 6k is not cheap. Um, 3k, okay, but 6k not. Um, and, and also, it's this very strong support. Uh, it has seen this low of 6k three times already on the first or the second month of the bear market. 6k was hit. Uh, for Bitcoin or almost hit 6,500. So, so we've been playing with this number for a long time. It's been breaking uh, the 6K. We see we saw 5,500 or something, but we're still at 6K today. So um, I think that that, that that the market still needs to break. Um, and, and it will be once we go clearly below 6K and we break 5K, then, then I think we have a new... Uh, like, like then I think the... As, as, uh, as I trade crypto from YouTube, you have to check his YouTube channel. I will link it below. 
um, but um, a great channel about the bear market. But what he says is the bear market still needs to start, uh, and what he means when this uh, 6K breaks, we will see finally uh, uh, prices considerably lower, and and also uh, I think an overall agreement in the market. Well, an overall um, uh, shift of the majority, a majority going from still like I think we see this, we start to see this now. Like I would say it's neutral now. Eh? Okay, even everybody's looking short term down, eh? uh, uh, but there's still a lot of people in the market that do believe it will recover quickly, uh, and 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 I think we're now like we're not in a majority bulls anymore. But you can't say we're in a majority bears neither. But I think we will get that one six k five k breaks, uh, and then and then we will probably be with a majority bear where you all the talk about crypto is the. Uh, most of the talk about crypto is not how high it will go, but how low it will go. And then you are in a real bear market. Uh, and, 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 and this we see already now, uh, because it just went down the past week uh, a lot. Uh, so everybody is talking about how low it will go, but um, uh, this is a uh, short term. Uh, um, only a couple of weeks back, two weeks back, three weeks back, people were talking about how high it will go uh, and, and, and talking about ETF and if it gets approved, uh, how high will it go and, and, and this will be the end. So, so, so it's still like mixed, um, but, uh, 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 but, uh, but this is what we need, a majority, the majority agreeing and looking uh, and thinking bearish. So I think we're close to that, but we're not there yet. Uh, so I'm... Uh, also, I noticed uh, from friends that have done an, an amazing job in timing the market that um, they ha and it made very good money in the past bull market. Uh, they are not buying yet uh, and not interested yet. Um, I noticed that people that buy start buying at these prices uh, uh, have also uh, yeah are, are just more yeah have also in the bull market not timed so well. I have just. The, the, the mentality to buy in steps and so in the bull market that leads to selling a lot of uh, doing a lot of steps of early selling uh, and in the bear market means doing a lot of steps of too soon buying um, early buying uh, and I did it in previous bear markets too I would have started buying today already but uh, now I, I, I discipline myself um, uh, with the Trololo chart and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and 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 we're at fair valuation uh, now. Uh, that's nice. Uh, but um, and I do think actually that there's a very strong and high chance we get a strong rebound. I've been saying this several times, and I really think that's the case. And uh, but it hasn't happened. Uh, it has gone. Uh, it hasn't happened. Uh, this strong rebound. Uh, but I do think it, it, it has a very high chance to happen because I do think the low will be about around 100 billion. So that's only half of here and, and, and for Bitcoin around 3K and, and, and for, uh, for Bitcoin cash around 200 US dollars. But all these prices are half or one third uh, from, uh, from here. That's not so much deeper. Um, and, 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 and I don't think it's likely that we will see like you don't see the bottom uh, early in a bear market. Actually, that's not fully true. Uh, that has happened in the past. The correction uh, in 2013 uh, from $255 to $50 happened in one week, then rebounded. Uh, no, no, in a couple of days, then rebounded to $180, then went back to $50. Uh, uh, and then uh, it rebounds. So actually, the, the lowest uh, seen uh, in the first flash crash uh, already. Um, but this is exceptional because that was not the case in the second uh, bear market of 2013 when it went to thousand, hundred fifty dollars. It took a very, very long time to find the low of hundred sixty dollars. Uh, it took one year. Uh, and um, and 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 and. And uh, I, I do think we're in such a bear market. Uh, I, I, I've, like the big question here was, uh, is this a temporary correction and do we see a new all-time high soon? But uh, check the other video I made about growth rates in crypto and, and I think that that was unlikely uh, that, we were in a, uh, that we would have three legs up instead of two, um, um, simply because of growth rates. Uh, that are already declining for crypto. Uh, you have to check that video. I will link it below. 
but this is, this is a fundamental analysis why um, uh, um, yeah, a third leg up was not likely. So, so, so that means that we're in a real bear market, not the bear market that we, uh, from early 2013 uh, that was just a temporary correction uh, and, and we had a new all-time high soon after. Uh, no, uh, we're in the kind of bear market that happened after 2013 uh, when you had had two legs up, uh, then uh, you had a very strong correction. And, uh, and this is the uh, same thing that happens today. We had also two big legs up, uh, one from basically $160 to uh, $3,000 3, uh, or $2,800. Uh, then there was a, a sideways move, movement for a couple of months and then that broke and went to 20 k for Bitcoin. Uh, so so, so it was, there were also two legs up this time and, and the... the, the uh, it's now clear that there is not no third leg up. Um, so it's a real bear market. And, and why do I think uh, that it will take so long uh, for the bear market uh, to pan out? It's very simple. It's just extrapolating uh, past uh, past events. Uh, so so every time in a real bear market, uh, it takes about half the time as the bull market. That has been always the case. Eh? Uh, if you just look at the chart. Uh, uh, from 2011, uh, there was a bull market in Bitcoin. It went from basically, mm, let's say, one dollar to uh, thirty dollars, and then it corrected to uh, what was it, uh, two dollars. Um, uh, but um, like, if you had to look at the duration of the, the bull market and the bear market, the bear market always takes half the time of the bull market, uh, and, and this was the case also after that in the bull market of 2012-2013, um, uh, the low, uh, that was a bull market of two years, so it took one year of bear market, and that was indeed 2014, only one year uh, for Bitcoin to find its low. Then we had a three-year bull market from 2015, 16 and 17, uh, so now the bear market will likely uh, take one year, half of that, and that's one year and a half for Bitcoin, huh? uh, and so that's middle 2019. I mean, it's just an, uh, what's the most likely event here? Eh? It's not like what's going to happen. No, what's the most likely to happen? And, and, and so what's uh, the big... Uh, on what kind of scenario should you bet the most money? It's on the most likely scenario you should bet the most, and that's the most likely scenario. Um, and, and, and will that be the law of uh, all coins? No, only the law of Bitcoin, and, and then uh, other bigger coins can also find a law close to that time uh, but actually you have to be very careful there because um, in the past uh, it took um, for the altcoins and, and then we talked also about the bitcoins at the time and that was litecoin and and ripple um, 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 bitcoin started going up in 2015 so the bull market was over 160 dollars was the low but it was a very slow year that first year of bull market actually it was not experienced as a bull market at all but as a debt debt market it went it bottomed at 160 but then it uh, hoovered around 200 220 dollars for one year and only at the end of the year it's fine it, it, it shot out and it went to 300 400 dollars uh, but that's like 10 months of sideways movement around $200, but that was actually already a bull market. Um, and so that's typical, the, 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 when, once the, the final low is fa found, it's like, uh, 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 it's like in a war uh, when, when the final uh, uh, attack uh, happened and there was a lot of destruction. Uh, well, after that there's silence, you know, and... Um, small, small, uh, uh, um, uh, green, uh, little leaves start coming out of the earth and that's the start of beautiful new tree, but it doesn't, it still looks like a, a, uh, a, um, a war field. Um, and, uh, and that's the same at the start of the bull market. So this is to be expected to happen around mid 2019 that, uh, well, we, we saw, um, and that could e equally be early 2019 or late 2019 that we see the final capitalization and, and we see Bitcoin reach its final low. Uh, I expect it to be about around 3,000. Um, I trade crypto YouTube channel expects it to be around 2,500 at least, um, something like that. And so, um, yeah, but that's the. I, a year from here, like, what are we gonna do in the meantime? We're not, like, crypto is so volatile, so it's so 
actually I think likely that we get a huge rebound because we're at 6,000 only one year at 3,000 what we're gonna do in the meantime um, it's typical for a crypto to put people and just markets in general to put them on the wrong leg so this would be also for me the most difficult scenario like now I'm doubting like I should be buying I should be buying but okay I'm not doing it but I will be punished for that <laughs> crypto will just like go up and 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 and, and, and oh I, want, I can buy Bitcoin cash now at $500 it's a great buy but I'm not doing it well um, it's I think good quite probable that many of all the all these coins just end up going up um, for a couple of months times um, yeah, Bitcoin can, can can go back to 8k or 10k uh, uh, or 12k and put just a lot of people on the wrong like that's what I fear the most uh, and then feeling bad about not buying today but um, the thing is that uh, I have to stick uh, to my strategy which is I have a protection against the bull market always have had that I, because I always had an exposure to crypto uh, and at the peak of the bull it's quite high still was I think six seventy percent or so and 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 so I also lost uh, a lot uh, in this bear market because now my exposure is uh, to a, at a new low of about I think 28 percent or so huh? Uh, so I have a, a very high fiat exposure simply because my, my, my crypto keeps on shrinking but um, um, yeah uh, even if we have a rebound well my portfolio will go up because I still have a crypto exposure and if, even if we go into a new bubble and I'm totally wrong uh, well I, I used to have a very large crypto exposure now a lot smaller but it will go up a lot to the previous highs if we go into a new bubble and higher. Eh? So, 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 so the, what's important is uh, the kind of projects you're in. Uh, are these good projects or not? And there was someone saying that, um, well, in a, in a bear market, um, uh, the, 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 who's, uh, who's, uh, uh, who's swimming naked uh, is uh, revealed. Um, and, uh, and, uh, but I, I'm not so sure that like, there is truth there, but it would be the same as saying in a bull market eh? uh, the true uh, germ, germs uh, go up the most was that true? <laughs> I think uh, I don't know uh, but um, of course um, uh, yeah uh, I think in the case of Biteball that uh, yes it has dropped so much from 50th market uh, spot to, 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 to 130 market spot and I think I will have to start admitting that um, Biteball did uh, very poorly uh, and, 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 and that's a pity uh, and, uh, and maybe I have to become more open to see the weaknesses of the project um, um, but that's a job for me to do um, but these are the kind of things that you have to do in a bear market. That's the real, real work. Is 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 really, uh, yeah, critically uh, uh, evaluating uh, your positions uh, uh, and thinking about what to do, what what to buy in the future. Because today my tendency, my 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 plan is to just buy what I have, uh, more of it, uh, Bitcoin Cash and and and, and buy ball and keep a very small portfolio. But I've been thinking more about that and. I mean, in selection of coins, uh, the amount of selection, but uh, but actually financially, like I did very well in in the bubble, but actually I could have done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot better, huh? um, um, and, um, and 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 my biggest loss in uh, has been in opportunities. Uh, like I had the opportunity to invest in uh, IOTA at ICO or uh, at, in Ethereum at ICO. And then I had many opportunities later to invest in these projects at, at very low valuations, um, uh, and all of them I said no to. So, so I, I really um, I missed a lot of opportunity, and it was because I was too focused on certain projects that, uh, in the end, were the wrong selections. Uh, so I'm, I'm lucky uh, to invest in a bull market. Uh, in a, a very strong uh, growth market because um, um, I made money even though my personal selections were not good in the beginning NXT and Clams were my selections and while these were the wrong projects many other projects uh, grew a lot more of in the end actually NXT did go up a lot 
So in price, it was always uh, it was it was a great investment. It went up from seven. Uh, it started already in the bubble of 2013, and so I made a mistake uh, to to buy during bubble times. It went up from a zero valuation to 100 million valuation. I bought around let's say or 50 million valuation uh, on average, but then it, it went down to seven million valuation. So that was a huge loss <clears throat> during the bear market, and uh, <clears throat> and and uh, and. Um, and um, later it went up to 2 billion valuation, NXT plus order plus Ignis, uh, the coins that popped out of it uh, or, or, or forked of it. So uh, <clears throat> all combined was about 2 billion. So um, that was um, a financially great investment, but, but I, I, I still uh, am of the opinion that uh, although the, the follow-up of NXT order is, 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 is good um, uh, cryptocurrency design, uh, 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 there's so much more needed for a cryptocurrency to become successful um, and <coughs> uh, marketing or uh, basically yeah, building around your clients, uh, keeping clients in, building around and developers, uh, users, uh, uh, keeping them in the in the network and, 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 and seeing that expanding is extremely important and I think NXT really failed there. Um, and, and yeah, maybe that's where Bible also um, made a big uh, mistake in pushing away a lot of uh, users by changing uh, big things. Eh? When you change certain big things, that's what NXT did. They said, okay, we're gonna fork into a new project order. Basically, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the talent uh, went away. Um, but this is a slow and gradual process that starts with uh, small decisions that are wrong. The, the way the leadership is cl uh, clinging on to uh, decision power and all that, like, it's not so easy yet to build a successful company. Uh, sometimes you really need to be, um, um, yeah, yeah. So it's controversial. Steve Jobs uh, was a great example there, uh, where uh, he made a very successful company, even though uh, yeah, he was an asshole, uh, but he was a very smart and and and, uh, and 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 sometimes made uh, brutal decisions and, and uh, was uh, known to fire people very quickly uh, so 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 uh, uh, being the nice guy as in the dating life uh, uh, is not um, um, the path to success uh, um, but um, uh, but um, yeah I think um, it's a good time for reflection um, and um, uh, I think the biggest mistake uh, I made, I really have to uh, be careful for that in the future, and that's being too close to other opportunities. That has costed me a fortune in missed opportunities. So for the next bull market, I really need to uh, make sure that I do that well. Um, another interesting thing is uh, I had a good friend, uh, a good friend, and one of them said that uh, yeah he really believed in in Bitcoin Core and the Lightning Network and um, and that uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, actually thinks has less reason to exist today because um, wow well, because the Lightning Network is going well according to him uh, and, uh, and 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 is really a way to transact cheaply uh, in Bitcoin uh, and, and can also be uh, the the cheap fees can also be maintained. Uh, for the future when the network becomes busy again uh, because it's off-chain and uh, I found that interesting because I'm, I'm very close to, uh, to, 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 to opinions about um, Bitcoin Core uh, uh, and, and uh, yeah, we'll have to see how that goes indeed um, I never had a Bitcoin exposure uh, for a long time um, but uh, yeah, you have to be careful. Um, uh, but 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 I think that 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 with Bitcoin, um, the important thing here is that uh, yeah, you do have to like you, you 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 as an investor, we have to invest in in the future. What's gonna become the? Allez, you're gonna make the most money if you invest in something that grows the most. Um, and and so a good uh, indicator is the growth in amount of transactions. And for Bitcoin, you can measure this even though you have a lightning network, eh? you can estimate how much transactions are there and, and that's not on chain, eh? uh, so it's harder to measure maybe, but uh, you can see how much transactions Bitcoin is doing and the growth has been none, none. It has been a decline. Uh, Bitcoin 
at the peak now 300 400 uh, transactions per day maybe it's now 200 or something like that uh, 200,000 transactions per day but um, the amount of transactions is the same as, as two or three years ago for Bitcoin the uh, this is a, a huge disappointment that should not be the case that the amount of Bitcoin transactions is the same today as three years back when Bitcoin was 10 times smaller uh, in, in the amount of people that know it in market cap uh, yet the amount of transactions is the same today uh, I think that's very very bad of course the amount of transacted value in US dollars measured actually has gone up uh, 10 times eh? so even though the amount of transactions is the same as three years ago the amount of transacted value uh, is actually um, a lot higher because in the meantime Bitcoin went up uh, tenfold <clears throat> no a lot more than tenfold actually eh? um, um, uh, how much 20 30 fold <clears throat> but 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 uh, but 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 in, in crypto, uh, this is also true for all the other coins that the amount of transacted value has gone up a lot. But what also is true for them is that the amount of transactions has gone up a lot. Um, uh, uh, most of them have seen uh, transactions go uh, down or sideways uh, this year, of course, with the bear market. But uh, most coins, um, uh, yeah, is, if you compare to middle of 2017, so one year ago. Uh, have gone up a lot in, um, in amount of transactions, Bitcoin Cash, Monero, uh, just I will link below also that uh, chart uh, that you can just check for yourself the amount of transactions and compare and so uh, with Bitcoin this is very bad and, and it's simply because they have pushed away many users, merchants, many merchants stopped using Bitcoin uh, and many users that were paying with, uh, for coffee with Bitcoin are gone. Uh, and move to other networks like Bitcoin Cash or, or <coughs> Monero also took a piece of the market in the dark markets um, uh, and there are, uh, to, you know, to, 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 to finance ICOs and even to trade um, uh, yeah, other coins like I Ethereum uh, um, like uh, many many coins are taking just uh, a piece of, of these users uh, and transactions um, and that's why Bitcoin um, hasn't uh, grown uh, for three years in amount of transactions um, uh, so so I think that, that this is uh, very bad uh, and if you want to invest in the future well, this is something that goes up a lot in, in usage uh, and I think there's hard evidence here that the usage in Bitcoin um, has not uh, gone up as much at all as many other coins so 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 I think um, <clears throat> Um, if that changes in the future, if you see the amount of transactions go up a lot again, uh, okay, then you can uh, reevaluate re your position, or I can reevaluate my position that well, Bitcoin is not the future. Um, but as long as this is not the case, as long as the amount of transactions is not showing um, <coughs> a nice growth for Bitcoin. Uh, and of course, that's transactions of Lightning Network included. Then, um, then I, I, I think I will stick to my position that uh, yeah, Bitcoin is not the future. And the same for the other coins. Bitcoin Cash is growing well in amount of transactions, uh, or staying, I uh, keeping uh, the amount of transactions well during this bear market. Same for Monero. So as long as these coins, um, uh, for Monero, for example, it's not my favorite coin. Uh, no. Uh, um, because of several things, but if you look at the amount of transactions, it's doing a great job. Uh, so, 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 this is a very important uh, parameter to judge uh, whether a coin is being used or not. Also, I heard from uh, a friend that Monero will um, uh, implement something uh, that will uh, cut the transaction fees by um, by five or four, uh, the current transaction fees. So that's that's great. Eh? So. Um, yeah, uh, if they work actively on that, uh, they might be able to uh, keep up their uh, market position, which is now at the 10th spot for Monero. Um, so yeah, uh, just some comments on the markets. Um, what else can I uh, add to this video? I think it's long enough, 29 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I wish you all uh, a great day. Bye.